Hello everyone and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf! I am Mayor Siri and we are here in Moss Tree Village, my precious village that I am now in charge of. And we are continuing on in our expedition to try to gather up as many of the bugs in town as we possibly can and collect up fruit and seashells. And basically just find lots and lots of things to sell because we need to put the down payment on our house before I am able to start doing some of my mayoral duties, which I really do need to do because that's my responsibility now. So I'll take it on. I understand that it's just a burden that I must have on my shoulders, but in order to become the mayor properly, I at least need to start by getting my own house built. And to get my house built, I have to have a down payment of 10,000 bells. So we're kind of wandering around the town right now, introducing myself to the villagers. There goes Big Top. We talked with him a little bit earlier. How you doing, Big Top? Cool, it's Siri, villain. Anyway, did you need something? Let's chat, Big Top. Yep, yep, I can sell all kinds of stuff. Yep, yep, wonderful. Sea cells, you name it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, all right, thank you, Big Top. All right, and then let's see what's going on with Genji over here. Genji, you really wander all over the place, don't you? Yo, Siri, I hope you're carbo-loaded today. It's all about carbs, otaku. What you need? Just want to talk to you, my friend. Okay, listen up. I've got something to tell you about tools. Pay attention! First of all, you need a net if you want to catch bugs. <laughs> I've got one right in my hand, my friend. Next, you should get a fishing rod. I know it's obvious, but I have to say it. You catch fish with it. Last is a shovel. Use a shovel to dig at a star spot you see on the ground. All kinds of stuff might be buried at those spots. Fossils, treasure, who knows what you'll dig up. Anywho, when you see stuff with the net, fishing rod, or shovel, you might want to sell it at the recycle shop. <laughs> you don't have to sell it, but it's a good way to make some money, otaku. By the way, you can find tools. Yep, 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 thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you, Jin. You can burn some calories with it. And you can sell stuff you collect to make a little spending money. It's a win-win, really. Otaku. Alright, thank you so much, Genji. And yes, I am still trying to figure out their voices, so I apologize if that's a little bit silly how I'm just going all over the place with it. But I'm still just not sure, like, what to say for who. Oh, yes, we've got more, more peaches! Nope. Okay, hey, okay, apparently I need to put down my little bug net in order... Can I remove it? Okay, remove equipment. I can remove my little socks? For real? What do I do with them? <gasps> I took my little socks off! Okay, you know what? I'm so desperate to be able to be mayor. I'll go ahead and see if I can sell my socks. That would actually kind of crack me up if I could. And I haven't visited Mabel yet. And if I remember correctly, the Mabel sisters... <gasps> There's a dragonfly down there! Ah, I can't get down there though because it's actually blocked off from a little waterfall, I think. So phooey. Let's go to the beach. I've actually not been to my beach yet, so that would be kind of fun. And we'll see if we can find any bugs while we're like running on our way there. So I wonder if I should go ahead. I'm going to grab my bug net. Where'd my bug net go? I'm going to grab my bug net and hold on to it just in case. Oh, and then thank you guys. So perfect peaches. I definitely don't want to sell this. I want to plant it. And I think you plant things just by digging a hole in the ground and like patting it in. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and plant the perfect peach. These are really cool because th this is a native peach village. So the perfect peach will sell for like 300 or something here if I sold it or like 600, something really, really high if I sold it at the retail shop. But if you plant the perfect peach, it grows into a perfect peach tree that lets you harvest from it for a few times before like the peaches get all used up and if I save those perfect peaches and travel to another village and that village does not have native peaches I can sell the perfect peaches for so much more money than I could get them here so I'm gonna hold on to my perfect peaches I really really lucked out with that all right and we might as well come back into the retail store and I'm gonna go ahead and sell my peaches now not my perfect peach though I'm gonna plant that next to my waterfall next to my house Hello again, Dries. Oh, hello there. Welcome. I think I'm going to go ahead and do just like a gentle younger person voice for her because she's just so sweet. Okay, let's do this. And I think it's really sweet how she's like defending her darling if you go near him. So let's go ahead. We're going to sell these peaches. Can I sell my socks? I can sell my socks. You can have my socks too. Is this everything then? I'll start crunching the numbers right away. Well then, I could probably part with 450 bells for all of it. Does that sound okay with you? Total deal! Take my money! 
Yay! And then I also, today is still the same day as last time because I really, really want that asteroid. So I'm going to go and try to buy an asteroid from the little nook shop, the nookling shop in a little bit. It's a floating asteroid. I need that because we're kind of going to have sort of a sciencey nature. It's kind of like a natural science center. That's what we're going to make. Our entire village and the entire thing of Moss Tree Village is sort of going to be like a natural science center, sort of interactive with paths and plants and trees and everything all around around the place. So I'm really looking forward to that. And the floating asteroid is just perfect for it. And then right here today from 4 p.m. all items in the store will be half price. So that's why it's still today and that's why we need to gather up lots of money. Not only for the down payment but I definitely want to snag that asteroid. <gasps> Look and it's a little dig spot. Okay and we're gonna go to the beach today too. I haven't seen the beach just yet. So let's go ahead and grab the shovel. I'm gonna dig this spot up. Oop, 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 oop. Okay still getting used to everything. Okay let's dig this up. <gasps> it's a fossil! It's a fossil! I'm so excited! I have to take it to Blathers. I have to take it to Blathers. Our very first fossil! Yes! Okay. Well, that's super exciting. Let's see. Oh, there's a bug! There's a bug! He jumped into the water! Is he- is he dead now? I'm a little worried I just accidentally killed a bug, you guys. I didn't mean to. Oh, he's gone. The fish ate him. Oh dear. Well, like I said, Natural Science Center. It's a forest. You're supposed to walk around kind of like an interactive uh, educational forest. Oh, there's another dig spot. Looks like I'm finding more dig spots than bugs, but we'll work on it. All right, and if we go near the flowers, and I might be able to gather up the flowers. Am I supposed to water them? <gasps> it's another fossil! Yes! I'm so excited! My very first fossil! Oh, so fun. All right, let's tuck that in there. All right, so let's go ahead and wander down next to my house. I know there's another, like, dig spot over there. <gasps> there he is again! You guys, I saw him. I saw the grasshopper. We're gonna get him. We're gonna go get him. All right, let's go ahead. And if I sneak... Oh, there he is! If I sneak up on him... Oh, look at me do a little sneak sneak! Oh, that's so fun! All right, where'd you go, buddy? Where'd you go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there! I just... What? That's not fair! I spooked him! Just as I thought I was getting close enough, I spooked him. Oh, phooey. Alright, well, at least I've got my net out now. So if we do run across him again, I know what to do. And I kind of want to collect some of these flowers to put next to my house. So I'm going to gather up this flower, too. And we'll pick that up. And then, let's see, there's some more roses. Ooh, look at the little pansies! I'm going to gather up those pansies. Not going to sell them, that's for sure. All right, and then let's go ahead and I'm going to actually move the yellow roses. Yellow roses feel like so official, you know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and plant these. Whoops, not right there. I want them to be a little bit closer. There we go. Um, very important thing. You know what? And flowers are really important if you ask me because they make me so happy. So I love putting flowers down. Like we go to the farmer's market more or less every week and I always try to have a little bit of extra money to buy a little bouquet of flowers because man, they just make you so happy to see. Oh, and look, there's more pansies over here. Okay, I'm going to move the pansies this way and I'll put them like right here maybe. How about that? All right, pansies come here. And we're going to plant them right there. Ah, oh, they're so cute! Okay, apparently I planted them like on top of the spot I was standing on. And then I was thinking we could plant my perfect peach tree kind of over here. Because this is right next to the waterfall. If I was a perfect peach tree, this is where I would want to grow. So, let me see if this works. I dig a little hole. Okay. Nope, I didn't want to cover the little hole up. Dig a little hole. And then I grab my peach. And then bury it. Alright. Yay! There we go! Alright, hopefully he'll grow on his own. Go, little perfect peach tree, go! And then let's go ahead and dig this up. You guys! It's another fossil! A fossil right next to the riverbed! Oh, that's so fun! I can't wait to see what these turn into. Oh, yeah! And then... Oh, I got a bell! I got a bell! How many bells did I get? I don't know. Are you... Whoops! Oops! Missed. Oh, my goodness! Is this like a jackpot rock? What the heck? How many bells can I get from smacking rocks? I kind of remembered that from, like I said, the GameCube version, but I've never played the New Leaf version, so... Alright, I, I smacked a rock and I got something. Well, that was pretty fun. Alright. Oh, what's this? Hello? This spot is reserved for Caesar's new home. <gasps> I'm gonna have a neighbor! <gasps> Dandelions! They're so precious and cute! Oh my goodness, I have a neighbor right here, too! Alright, who's this? Tabby's house. Tabby, you look like somebody who could use some beautiful... Oh, look at this! What? 300 bells? That's so many! And then 200 bells? 
Oh my gosh, I got a lot of money from smacking rocks. All right, let's go ahead and plant this. Uh, that's not where I wanted it though. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, this is Tabby's house. Very cool. I need to get to know my villagers a little bit better because this is going to be really fun. All right, so you kind of stand on top of the spot you want to plant them. And then, yeah, there we go. Already improving the town. Nobody can say I'm not trying to do my mayoral best. Oh, and then we pull up the little weed. Oh, did you guys see that? Did you see? I see him! I see him! I see him! I see the little grasshopper! I'm gonna get him! It's gonna be my very first grasshopper! Oh, I love starting new adventures! Isn't it just the best feeling ever? Okay, where'd he go? There he goes! There he goes! We're gonna get him, you guys. Please. Oh, I got him! I got him! Yes! My very first grasshopper! Seems it hopped its last. Oh dear, I hope I didn't like smush it. It's 32.6 millimeters. Look at the size of him! I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. I really do. All right. Oh my gosh. That means I can check my encyclopedia and have information on him now? All right. Where's my little buggy friend? Oh, there he is. Okay. What does it say? Grasshopper, season, summer, time, morning to evening, record size. Is that going to be everything? Yep, that's going to be everything. Well, that's so fun. I can't believe I caught my little grasshopper. All right, so we're gathering up a lot of fossils and a grasshopper, but being dedicated to the museum, take like caretaking, I'm probably not going to sell these fossils for anything. <laughs> but so many fossils. There's just so many, like fossil dig site. That's what our town is like. <gasps> okay, okay. Hey, can I, do it? Can, if I smack it with, Will you? Nah, dang it. I've got to put away my shovel before I'm able to collect all of these. Okay, let's gather up these peaches. Shake, shake, shake. All right, got all these peaches. And then we'll take them. And I guess I could technically plant some of these peaches, but part of me wants to like sell them now, but probably it's better to plant them. I think it takes like three days for a tree to grow. So many flowers everywhere. Am I going to have... Oh, more peaches. Yes. Oh, and I see a little weed. So we'll go pluck up that little weed. And how can I get down to the beach? Oh, here we go. All right, my first time to my beach. <gasps> Look at it. <gasps> Look at how pretty these are. There's coral and little clamshells. Oh no, my pockets are full. <laughs> oh no, okay. Can I swap it with anything? Um, The pitfall seed, I don't know if I would use. Maybe I could sell it though. Fooey, look at all of this. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. And there's another one of the grasshoppers. And there's a little conch shell. And it's all so lovely and I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, and there's more flowers. Whose house is this? Aurora's house. Hello? I'm not home right now. Aurora. All right, so she's not home, but oh, there's so many people I could meet. I need to say hello to all my villagers. Okay, but first things first, we definitely need to go and sell all of this stuff. So whose house is, oh, there's just something laying on the floor. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I need that. I need that. I'm gonna drop this, put it on the ground. I don't, I don't, Peach, Peach, you can stay right there. I have to have that bug. Are you kidding? It's just, it's just too cool. Oh, no, don't scare it away. Don't scare it away. Don't scare it away. Where'd he go? Oh, don't tell me he ran off. I really, really want him. I really, that was so cool. He looked just like a little leaf. And I have a feeling he's probably kind of hard to find. Maybe not. This is why I should have kept my bug net out. Why? Why, cruel world? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so cool. I want that guy. I really, really, really want to catch that guy. Okay, next time I'll be faster. So you have to be really quick for these bugs. They don't exactly just wander away and let you catch them again pretty easy, do they? <gasps> Look at the hedge fence. I want that. Whose house is this? Blanche. Oh, yeah. I think she's like the stork. Oh, she's home too. All right, let's go visit her. It looks like she's home because she has her little chimney going. Hello, hello. Mayor Siri here. Would you like some flowers or peaches? I guess I have lots of peaches. All right, let's see what she says. <gasps> Look, she has a visitor. Oh, shit. Her house is so cute. Look at all the like vases she's got. Oh, my gosh. Oh, welcome, Siri. You and Aurora have both come to visit. Aren't I lucky? Was there something you wanted? Quite so. I want to chat. If I could bother you, Siri, how do you think this looks? Oh, it's so cute. Is that a little bird? Is she wearing a little bird on her outfit? And she's got Japanese music playing. Oh, I love it. I love it. I would say that this is especially for the ambiance and it matches the, the vase that you've got next to you. It's perfect. 
Oh, that is a compliment. I think I'll definitely keep this then. Well, now it's your turn. Why don't you try a new look? Here, take this, Siri. Oh my goodness, she gave me a new outfit. Can I put it on? To put that on, first tap, okay, and then tap clothing and select wear, and you'll see how you look in a chef's outfit. <gasps> Did she really just give me a chef's outfit? Oh my gosh. Oh, where's my clothes? Where's my clothes? No! Wait, there it is. Oh my gosh, I had enough room for it. I'm so relieved. You guys, that is the most adorable thing. Look at this. Look at this. I love it. I love it. What do you think? Can I help you, Siri? Tell me, Siri, where did you decide to live? Uh, just over there. It's actually kind of just over there. Oh, near here? What a nice choice. Who doesn't love this part of town? Quite so. Wherever you're living, you can count on your mail reaching you. Did you know we get mail? Of course we do. You'll get letters from absolutely everyone, and I hope to get one from you soon. Yes, I look forward to it. To start first, buy stationery at Timmy and Tommy's store. After you write your letters, take it to the post office. I'll get to it sooner or later, I'm sure. But you should know that we animals simply can't resist showing our letters to everyone. So be careful not to write anything you wouldn't want the world to see. Still, do write, okay? Oh, she's so sweet. And your Aurora, the penguin? Oh gosh, she's so cute. Mayor, I'd like to formally welcome you to Moss Tree. My name is Aurora. May I call you Siri? I hope we become good friends, Siri. But I know you're probably eager to scarred with your new duties, so I'll leave you to it. See you soon. Oh my goodness, look, I have a little chef outfit. <gasps> that was so cool. I'm totally going to wear it over the little stripey shirt that I have. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to sell everything we've currently got in our pockets. Um, I don't think I have anywhere I can leave anything unless I can leave something inside of my house Can I just like drop things down in my house? Maybe I'm pretty sure I could maybe do that. Oh, sorry to intrude bear Isabel oh, Wow, so exciting. It's just like you're camping isn't it? It reminds me quite a lot of my childhood Everyone would get all worked up and we'd roast marshmallows and make popcorn over the fire. We'd always burn the popcorn a bit, but you know something? That just made it extra delicious. Oh no! I've gotten carried away again. I'm so sorry. Anyway, Siri, I brought you something nice. Siri, you're caring so very much I can't give you anything, so I'll just set it down here instead. Oh, that's so cute! See? It's a lantern. I was sure I'd seen one before, so I searched through the storage closet over at Town Hall. And sure enough, it was in there. I thought it'd be perfect for you since you're sleeping in a tent. The lantern should turn on when you face it and press A, but it's a bit old. Can you try turning it on? No problemo. Look at that, it's perfect. Since it's so old, I wasn't sure if it would work properly, but it looks like it works just fine. I know I set it down myself, but could you do the same thing? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Well, if you face the lantern and hold A while using it, and move backward or forward, you can rotate it any direction you want. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, so she's just kind of telling me how to move everything. Sorry to barge in on you in a time like this. I'll be taking my leave now. She's so sweet. She's just like an over-eager little helper. Oh, and I guess I could display my chef's outfit if I really wanted to. All right, and oh, I could display. Can I display my dandelions? That would be so cute if I could display my dandelions. Can I do that? Okay, dandelions, display. And you guys, look at them. They're so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. If only I could display more of these things. Can I just go ahead and like place? I can place some of the stuff in here at least so I don't have to carry it around. But there we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to wrap up by going and selling our stuff. And then let's take all these fossils we dug up over to Blathers. Man, we are keeping so busy for basically having just started. I'm really loving this. Oh, look, there's a dragonfly. He's on the other side of the stream, though, but is he going to come my way? Come here, buddy. Come here. Ah, he is on the other side. Wait, wait, I think he's coming this way. Maybe? Come here. Come here. Oh, he is coming this way. Oh, I got him! I got him, you guys! Yes! I caught a red dragonfly! Sweet! And now we can take this to Blathers, too. We're on a roll! I'm so excited! We're gonna fill out the museum. There we go. Oh, look at everybody! They're all doing some, like, watering and bug catching, too. That's so sweet. And then later today, I will go and pick up that asteroid, and I will show it off to you guys next time, because that asteroid, it's a floating asteroid! How cool is that? And it's gonna be on half-off cell. 
Reese, how are you? Oh my gosh, I'm already so in love with everybody here. They're just so sweet. All right, I wanna sell. And then let's go ahead and what are we gonna toss out? We're gonna go ahead and sell all of these peaches. And this little piece of coral, there we go. And my old shirt, my picnic tee, <laughs> that can go, that's fine. I'm selling literally the clothes off my back to try to become mayor. <laughs> I could probably part with 932 bells for all of this, if that's okay with you. Dill! Thank you, come back with more anytime you like. All right, so we're making slow but sure progress on our money. And I bet we would make more if I sold the insects, but because these are my very first ones, we're gonna take them over to Blathers. All right, and I guess I'll go ahead and keep a hold of the insect net just in case we run across something on our way over there. No, it doesn't look like we're going to, so I'll put it up for now. Okay, and then remove equipment. There we go. My chef outfit is so cute. I really love it. I really love it. Okay, there we go. And then let's go ahead and we'll run straight over to Blathers. Ooh, can I dig around that trash can, I wonder? Anything in there? Nope. <laughs> it's not like Stardew Valley where you can like rustle up some trash. All right, well, I've found diamonds in my trash in Stardew Valley before, so I'm not gonna really put that down. Blathers, pardon me. I know it's still like daytime, but... Oh. I mean, it's not like he has anything to do right now. Who? Oh? Who? Oh? I'm a bit of a night owl, you see. Drowsy in the daytime, you see. Welcome to the Moss Tree Museum. Hmm? Who? How may I be of service? All right. Uh, let's go ahead and make some donations. Sorry, and I'm still trying to figure out Blather's voice. I'm trying to go for like an English accent and I have no idea how to do that. What would you like to donate? That's not an English accent for sure. <laughs> All right. First things first, my grasshopper. We'll just, I'm not even going to do accents. I'm blushing because it was so bad. So we're just going to go with this. Ick, a bug. Ah, uh, I beg your pardon. I just don't like handling these things much. Well, mm, a grasshopper. This grasshopper here reminds me vaguely of when I was but a chick in my mother's nest. Oh, I am so sorry. I was about to get rather carried away there. Anywho, I promise we'll take good care of this critter. We'll display it with a more detailed description, so please come back later to see it. Thank you very much. No problem! I didn't- I didn't- forgot that he doesn't really like insects, so that's adorable. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll donate our fantastic dragonfly to him. There you go, sir. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Or not. Okay. Nope. <laughs> ah, beg your pardon. All right, let's see. Hmm, a red dragonfly. This red dragonfly here reminds me vaguely of when I- Yep, and same thing. So he's always reminded of when he was but a chick in his mother's nest every time we give him a bug. That's so adorable. All right, there we go. So in the future, I'll probably catch him with you guys. And then if it's not the fossils, I will probably go ahead and turn him in without dragging you guys here just so we can listen to his stories about being in his mother's nest. All right, so let's go ahead and assess our fossils. <gasps> this fossil first. Let's do it. Can you assess multiple fossils? Nope. Yes. Oh my gosh, you can. Let's do it. I have a whole pile of fossils for you, sir. Oh, -ho, more than one I see. Uh, let's take a closer look. All of these are rare fossils not yet found in our museum's collection. What a surprise! You have a knack for finding fossils, don't you? I'm incredibly jealous. I hope you can- I hope I can convince you to donate for Moss, Cree, or Moss Tree's cultural development. And of course I will! No, 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 it's okay, I'll donate them, I'll donate them! I'm so excited! So let's go ahead and see what our fossils are. I'm gonna make a donation. And I wonder, can I donate all of them at once? So what do we have? Petra, or Chera, left wing, oh my gosh, Torosaur, or Torosaur, I meant to say Torso. All right, can I do all of them at once? Oh, several things I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Yes, we will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, there is no need for you to put them out. I'll handle the rest from here. Woohoo! We pride ourselves in exhibiting all donations in a timely manner. Thank you very much. All right, so we're good, we're good. All right, Blathers, I'm so excited. Let's go see what they look like, you guys. We have now added in our very first fossils. So how do they look? <gasps> Where are they displayed? Over here? What about over here? Nope, nothing over there. Okay, I'm gonna put down here, okay. <gasps> what? We got like two pieces already? Look at this. Look at this, we're just missing the tail. That is so cool. We've already found two pieces to this guy. Well, geez, we're on it. I'm so excited. So we're already getting the fossils displayed. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
I didn't even know about these. What the heck are these? I don't even know what those stands are for. There's gonna be so much for us to gather up. I am so excited. Look at the size of this place. It's huge. I had no idea that the museum was this big. It's so much bigger than I re like ever remember. It definitely wasn't this big in the GameCube version. That's what I'm trying to say. <gasps> oh my goodness. And there's the last piece. Goodness gracious, that's just a little piece of a wing right there. It looks very fragile and delicate. But there we go, you guys. So we have set up the fossils inside of the museum. We have a couple bugs jumping around inside of the little bug display area. And I'm going to go ahead and go camp outside of Timmy and Tommy's shop until I can get that asteroid. Because that asteroid is just too cool. Even if it means more work in gathering up bells so that we're able... All right, you sleep well, Blathers, so that we are able to get our house built soon. That's okay, because I really want that asteroid. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm going to scuttle over here and just sit outside their shop until it is time. Until it is time to get that asteroid, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.